hey and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be taking and editing instagram pictures like molly may if you're new here please subscribe you can click the little bell symbol so you get a notification when i post that'll be highly appreciated so on sunday molly uploaded a video called how i take and edit my instagram pictures so i watched that earlier and it was just kind of surprising to see like the comparison of like the original photos and their instagram photos i'm going to do my makeup probably tan hopefully find a cute outfit and then take photos kind of like she said and then I'm going to edit them the way that she edits them. My hair is such an ugly colour now. The front bits have just gone so ugly like I'll probably just dye it back black because I'm so fed up with it. It's just like an orangey copper like it's kind of a bit like uh, like it's just not really anything. So I'll probably dye it back black. If I was to bleach it again like it would probably fall out because these bits was as long as these bits until i stroked my hair the other day and a massive clump of it just fell out and now it's like frazzled at the end and it's like straw so obviously my hair didn't go to plan because you know nothing goes right so i've just done my makeup i have just filmed a everyday makeup look as well not this makeup look i added a bit more um so if you want to see that that'll be out in maybe a week's time or something like that i don't really know now i'm just gonna try to do something with my hair i don't know if to straighten it or to curl it but it's kind of just a bit of a mess at the moment i've just put like this cute little crop top on and my playboy joggers in molly's video she says about like putting putting a mirror out from where the light's coming and obviously my big mirror is over there so obviously it's not where the light's coming in i just thought that i'd come and say that it might make a lot more sense if you watch this video after you've watched the molly may video because you'll know what i mean by like the mirror selfie the outdoor selfie and then like the way she edits her photos so it might just make more sense if you watch that video then come watch this one for like a bit of fun i'm gonna move my mirror over here where the light's coming in i'm gonna place it like probably there so I've kind of got like my bed and my wall in the background. Oh, I'm really scared, like it's really heavy and like it will break. I just don't need seven years bad luck so I'm really hoping it doesn't fall over. So I've moved my mirror so like there's the light and here's the mirror. It's really hard to get like the lighting and the angles. I'm trying to get like a really similar photo so I can edit the same. I'm really sweating right now. I just realised watching this through that I changed trousers halfway through but I didn't say anything so I was wearing playboy joggers and then I swapped to wear snakeskin leggings because I just felt a whole lot more comfortable taking pictures wearing leggings than the playboy joggers so um yeah that's why. I'm gonna move to my other location. I'm just gonna go take some outside some more like candid like just of my face ones really even though my face is absolutely sweating. I literally had to go in like the corner by like my shed and like my wall to hide from the sun. I've just got some favourites here, so the lighting's like really bad on these ones, so I'll probably use the last ones. And then there's some like that are inside, which I just mm, not really too keen on. The next day. So in Molly's video, she took a photo in her mirror and then she took one outside. So I did the exact same. So these are the ones that I like that are favourited. Um, and then I'll just choose one to like properly edit. So there's like a few mirror ones that I like and then there's a few like ones that are outside that I like. So Molly uses Facetune and Colour Tone. So I'm going to go on to Facetune first because this is what she does. I'm just going to like follow the simple steps that she does. I'm going to open one of the photos that I took in the mirror. Firstly what I'm going to do is just smooth out my skin because I just always smooth out my skin in my photos because I hate how like my tan's all patchy, my face is just a bit like grainy, so I just kind of smooth out the bits that I just want to smooth out really. She does the same really, like she smooths out her eczema and stuff. So you can just zoom in and smooth that. Because there's like black things on the carpet and it's just a bit dirty, I'm going to patch that. Use the patch tool and just patch the carpet so you can't see anything on the floor so you just choose a nice clean bit of the carpet and patch that she also details her eyes and she also details her jawline but i don't know if mine looks a bit weird and like her lips and her nose mm, looks a bit strange but we'll go with that i'm also gonna smooth out my phone because it just like has loads of fingerprints on it, it just looks a bit tacky so just let's smooth that out as well what she also does is whiten the background because as you can see like my background's a bit like yellowy so if we use the whiten tool, I don't want to paint it because then this is what it'll go like. So if I just erase all of that 
and kind of just tap on different places and just make it a bit wider to get rid of like the yellowness of the background but I don't want to make it too white so I've kind of got rid of a bit of the yellow background it doesn't look too great but we'll just go with it she also detailed her trousers so if we go back onto detail she like details her trousers because hers are a lot cooler than mine but I'll just still do that because it looks kind of cool she then goes on to colour tone right so we're now on colour tone so then we click image in the corner and then we upload that image that we had so then we'll click edit in the bottom left corner and what she does is she clicks on the filters at the bottom left and she uses moldies it's quite intense at the moment so I'm just gonna put it down a tiny bit obviously just makes you look a bit more tanned and then go through the other effects and just change the way you want it to look really if you want to make a bit more saturation like exposure and things like that and then she always adds a bit of sharpen so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of sharpen and then go back to the filter and see if I want to move it back up or back down so I'm just going to move it up a tiny bit and then that's the finished photo I'll put the original and the edited one next to it and I kind of really like it actually like I like the filter I like the way she's edited with like the details and the smoothing and things like that and now I'm going to go back to Facetune and choose one of the images that I did outside kind of to give like a different perspective of like different type of photos so this is one of the photos that I took outside and you can obviously see like my face is a bit patchy like my brother's in the background so I'm just kind of going to like smooth that out like patch it like she did I'm going to try and patch my brother out of it I don't really know if I can do that but so what I'm going to do first is just smoothen out my skin, just like I always do. I don't smooth all of it really, otherwise it, I'll just look a bit fake. I just smooth out the bits that are a bit too sharp, smooth out my skin. So once I've smoothed out my skin, I'm going to then go on details and detail my eyes, my lips and my nose like she did. She also does her jawline, but... I think that just looks a bit strange, so I'm just going to erase that. I'm also then going to try patch my brother out of this. I don't know if it's going to work, because... Will that work? Mm. Because obviously all the background is going to be the same, isn't it? It might work. We might be getting somewhere. I'm not going to patch him out fully because obviously there's railings like there and I can't properly patch that out. So I've just patched his face out and then I'm just going to smoothen that so it kind of all blends in in the background. I'm going to save it from Facetune and then go straight over to Colour Tone. So if I then open the image up in Colour Tone, so I'm going to put Maldives on it. It's a bit intense at the moment, so I'm going to put it down a bit. And then I'm going to go in and just play with these controls and just see if I want to make it a bit brighter, a bit more contrast, a bit more saturated, a bit more exposure. Just, just play around with the settings, really, because it all depends on the lighting of the photo. And then I'm going to add a bit of sharpen, like she does, and then go back to the Maldives and see if I want to change that. So that's what it would look like without Maldives, and then... I'm going to put it just past halfway, I think, and then save the photo. So I'll put the original here and the edited here of both images. Thanks for watching. I hope it was fun. I don't really know. It was kind of fun making it because I enjoyed doing my makeup. I enjoyed like taking the photos in the sun and things. And then it was kind of good to see the difference in like the editing and things. So thanks for watching.